Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name's Eric, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Bioshock Hub. More specifically, the second brand new video of the day here on the Bioshock Hub. Hopefully you enjoyed that first one, it was a video that was short, sweet, and to the point of how to get the Bioshock Collection PS4 theme. If you missed it and want to go check it out, there'll be a card at the top right hand corner of the screen, or I'll leave it in the pinned comments down below. Anyways, today's video is long overdue, and when I mean long overdue, the first part of this was made nearly four months ago, so I do apologize for the delay. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the five best upgraded weapons within Bioshock 2. Four are from the base game, and one is from Minerva's Den, which I think you can already tell what that weapon is going to be. Anyways, with that being said, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. Very briefly, before we get into the five best weapons, I just wanted to say that one, all five weapons on this list have no particular order. These are just the five best weapons in my personal opinion, and obviously, number two, opinions are a beautiful thing. If you guys agree or disagree with the list, please let me know down in the comment section below, and let me know which upgraded weapon you think is better than the ones on this list. Let's have some constructive criticism and some nice conversations in the comment section below. So, let's start off with number 5. So coming in at the number 5 spot on today's list is the launcher, or the grenade launcher, however you guys classify it as. So, just like in Bioshock 1, there are two base upgrades, and then the beauty of Bioshock 2, you have three different upgrades for each different weapon. The first upgrade for the launcher is increased clip size to hold more grenades to be able to spam. I believe it goes from holding one grenade to three. The second upgrade is an immunity to explosive damage, just like in Bioshock 1. I cannot tell you how many times this particular upgrade has saved me during a Bioshock 2 playthrough. You have something like a big daddy or a big sister charging at you, you can literally spam the grenade launcher at your feet and not have to worry about that explosive splash damage. And then finally, the third upgrade. The third upgrade turns all of your grenades into cluster bombs, which split the launcher's ammo into smaller versions of itself after it detonates. So not only if you have all three upgrades, you get three grenades to spam, which turn into cluster bombs. So that is extremely useful for clearing out large enemies of splicers, doing large amounts of damage to brutes, big daddies, and big sisters. Let me know what you guys think of the launcher down in the comment section below. Coming in at the number 4 slot, we have one of the most underrated, yet one of the most fan-favorited melee weapons within the series, that being the drill. This thing is absolutely insane, and the fact that you start off with it, just like the wrench in Bioshock 1, and just like the skyhook in Infinite, that is one of the best weapons to carry all throughout the game. So, again, three upgrades are included with each weapon, and in this case, the melee weapon. The first upgrade includes a less fuel consumption when spinning up your drill. This is very useful, again, for things like brutes, big daddies, and big sisters, because you can use things like Electro Bolt to stun them, or you can use the Frozen Shield tonic in order to actually freeze them in place and continue to continuously spin up your drill into them and do damage over time. So definitely a very useful upgrade. The second upgrade, what can I say? It's increased damage overall. So not only are you pairing it with less fuel consumption, the overall damage is increased the more you spin up your drill as well. So very good combo. And finally, for the final upgrade, this is one of the most unique ones within this entire game in my personal opinion. So, the final upgrade allows you to reflect bullets and projectiles while your drill is spinning up. So imagine this, you're fighting a big daddy, you're fighting a group of splicers, or you're fighting a big sister that happens to shoot fireballs at you. All you have to do is spin up your drill and it shoots it straight back at the enemy. How absolutely insane is that? And can you imagine the type of upgrades we could have had on the wrench or the skyhook in Infinite or Bioshock 1? That was a huge missed opportunity. So the fact that we're able to upgrade the drill in Bioshock 2 
is a huge, huge plus for me. Now, for the number 3 slot, we probably have the most useful and the most versatile weapon that you can obtain within Bioshock 2, that being the Rivet Gun. Not only are all three upgrades absolutely amazing, there is ammo, or in this case, rivets, all around Rapture, so you can save a ton of money, and that is a huge plus for me. So, let's dive into the first upgrade here. The first upgrade obviously includes a much larger clip size. I believe the starting clip size is around 12, and after this upgrade, it goes up to around 16 to 18. Don't quote me on that, I can't remember the exact numbers off the top of my head, but the larger clip does make a difference, trust me. The second upgrade, just like most of the other weapons, or in this case melee weapons, in the game, is increased damage. So, with the larger clip size and the increased damage along with the heavy rivets, this is one hell of a combo. And finally, the final upgrade is when the rivet gun becomes insanely good. So, with this final upgrade, you're gonna more than likely set your enemies on fire. So as you're shooting your rivets, or your heavy rivets, or even the trap rivets sometimes, this acts like you're using incinerate on your rivet when you shoot it. So not only are you doing damage with the rivet gun itself and its ammo, you are also doing damage to the enemy by setting them on fire. How sick is that? Can you imagine if we had more upgrades like that on this list? Oh wait! We do in this next one. Hold on. So speaking of elemental upgrades to your weapons, the number two slot should come as no surprise to you. That being the shotgun. Obviously the shotgun is easily one of the best weapons in all three Bioshocks regardless of what upgrade you put on it. But the fact that you can have three different upgrades on this weapon in Bioshock 2 really makes it stand out from the rest in my personal opinion. Bioshock 1 definitely had better ammo types. Bioshock 2, however, has the better upgrades. So, let's dive into those. Starting off, obviously, we have the increased damage again. And you don't think that it would do that much on a shotgun, but compared with the second upgrade, it definitely does some work. The second upgrade is increased clip size. So, I believe it goes from two shots, that being the double barrel shotgun, to six so you can spam six shots then use increased damage now for the third one here comes that elemental effect that i was telling you about the third and final upgrade essentially adds tesla coils to the sides of your shotgun which sometimes electrocute your enemies so if you see a bunch of splicers within a body of water or a big daddy or a big sister in a body of water you shoot them once, and if you electrocute them, that does a ton of damage. Not only that, if you're using the weapon straight up in a fight, you can electrocute enemies, allowing you to switch to a different weapon, let's say the rivet gun, and set them on fire, or you can switch to your drill and spam the drill into their body. So, there is a lot of different uses for that third and final upgrade. Now we go down to our number one slot, and this one honestly should be no surprise. If you've been in any of my live streams or have asked what is my favorite weapon within Bioshock 2, I always answer with the number one slot, that being the Ion Laser from Minerva's Den. Now hear me out, there aren't too many upgrades for this weapon within Minerva's Den, but that is completely okay. There is one main upgrade and it is absolutely incredible. That being increased damage. Not only is the base weapon itself insanely powerful, once you find the upgraded version that increases the damage, it becomes a whole new animal. Not only that, there's three different ammo types which all are equally as amazing as the other. So the standard laser cells deal continuous damage and they're found everywhere. Your second ammo type does that same exact thing while being able to set your enemies on fire. So essentially, you're shooting a laser beam of fire. How sick does that sound? Now the final ammo type is one of the most unique in my personal opinion, and that being the burst cells. So all you have to do for this is charge it up for a couple of seconds, 
and you deal massive amounts of damage to your enemies. So, whether it's a big daddy, or a big sister, or a spider splicer, if you use this, it does a crap ton of damage. And I would highly recommend trying it out, or trying out the fire cells within your next playthrough of Minerva's Den. So ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to leave your constructive criticism down in the comment section below, I'd love to be able to respond to you and see which weapons you would rather have on this list. Like I said, let's just keep it civil and let's have a nice conversation. Regardless, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you kindly drop a like as it does help this video get out to new people and potentially get into recommended videos and I would greatly appreciate that. If you're new here and enjoy Bioshock content or The Last of Us 2 content down the road, what are you doing? Why aren't you subscribed? Hit that red subscribe button, that would mean a lot to me, and join the Rapture family so you'll never miss a video or a future video. Also, if you wouldn't mind turning on all post notifications by hitting that bell next to the subscribe button, that would also be very much appreciated as well. The best place to talk to me outside of YouTube if you have any comments, questions, or concerns are my social media accounts or my discord server all of which will be linked in the description below anyways thank you all for watching today's video i really do hope you enjoyed it take care stay safe and i will talk to you all in the next one